Hello everyone, thanks for taking the time to check out my channel. In this video, I'm going to be test driving a 1998 Buick Park Avenue. This particular car has a uh, little over 180,000 miles. Gets 17 city, 26 highway. Blue in color, obviously. I'm going to give you a quick walk around of the car. I gotta tell you, I like these uh, older Buicks. A few years back, I owned a 94 Buick LeSabre. It's a little damage right here. A little scrape or scuff or something. Looks like it knocked that loose a little bit, that, that piece of trim. And then there is that right there. Paint came off a little bit. There's your emblem. Uh, quite a few scrapes and scratches along the back. They're pretty small, but kind of like that one right there. Nope, that wasn't even, that was just something on the car. Emblem on that side. Pinch striping is starting to uh, fade off back here. Same with the pinch striping here. It's just kind of fading off. That looks like it's coming away from the car a little bit. That rubber piece. I wonder if it's like that on the other side as well. Yeah, it is. I wonder if that's just how the car is supposed to be. I don't know. I'm not sure. I love the front of these, uh, you know, that grill there? I love the way that is on these older Buicks, especially uh, that emblem. I love the way that setup looks. Now, as far as uh, going down the sides and checking for dings and stuff, which I always do in my videos, uh, oh, okay, yep, I see a couple here. It's going to be hard for you guys to see them, but kind of all in through there, right there. And they're very small. Got some rust starting around the wheel well here. And it's uh, bubbling up right there. Not horrible. Get a look inside there. Yeah, the wheel wells aren't too bad. Tires on this aren't the greatest. <laughs> okay, and I noticed this before. Got some rust coming in down there. You actually have a hole right there. And Got some more rust right there. Not too much damage across the hood, if anything. Okay, let's go down this side. Nope, I don't see any dents or anything. I don't really see too much of anything on this side. There is a little bit of rust at the bottom door there, but nothing too major, not like the other side. Wheel wells look pretty good. I'm not going to go through every wheel well, I bet they all look pretty much the same, they're not too bad. Okay, let's get up under here guys, see what we're looking at. Yeah, you got a pretty good patina on everything. and. But, as far as the year goes, I've seen worse. It's in pretty good shape for the year. Especially being that it's uh, a car in Wisconsin. They take a beating over here during the winter with all the salt and everything that we lay down. Just noticed this, guys. Right below that emblem there. 
you got uh, it's bubbling up there pretty good you're gonna have some rust starting in there pretty good actually right here as well where the paint's chipped away I will give you a shot of the trunk here if I can nope that's the wrong key okay it has a key fob and the key fob does work I just learned that there is a folder back here oh it's all receipts a bunch of receipts for work done to the car it's pretty spacious back here I don't know what that's for and it's fairly clean it could use a, a vacuuming but let's see about some of these receipts here what do we got here oil filter that was an oil change I think I don't want to take too many of these out let's see here All kinds of receipts. Uh, geez, I wish I could pull some of these out, but I don't want to get too much into it. Well, it looks like they did a lot of work, and a lot of it is oil changes. Hmm. Get you a shot of the spare. Got your jack in there and everything. Yeah, these older Buicks, they have big, big trunks. A lot of space. And uh, check this out, guys. How fast this trunk comes up after you hit the button on the key fob. Boom. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at the interior. Now, actually, the buttons are all in good shape. Um, the 94 that I had with Sabre, all the, the paint on the buttons was uh, wore off. And actually, the one that I had was less miles than this. All of that, uh, well, I doubt it's real wood, but maybe it is. Who knows? I don't know. But all of that trim is in very good shape. Dash is in good shape. Tape player in this one. Oh, it does have a CD player, I see. And comes with the original book. I don't know what this is. Oh, hey. Well, no, I. it could be the real one, the one that came with it, but maybe not. It looks like a, a copy. Jeez, it was originally 33 grand. Crazy. But it's got the original book in there as well. Okay. Ah. Passenger climate control. My Le Sabre had that too. Leather seats, by the way. Now, uh, there is a bit of cracking on these seats. But there aren't any holes or anything like that. At least not that I saw. inside the armrest. Uh, the cup holder on this side is pretty worn. I had my water bottle in here and it just moves all around. Now the, in this particular one, the ashtray door just doesn't want to stay closed. So that is broken. Door panels are pretty good. There is uh, some discoloring where the speaker is. I see that a lot in older vehicles. Ooh, that is a squeaky door. <laughs> Nothing a little WD-40 couldn't handle, I bet. Ashtray in back. With a lighter. They could have done a better job of cleaning this up. <laughs> okay. Wow, those back seats are cushy. There's your armrest back here. And 
there is a little looks like button right there I bet the seats fold down guarantee that's what that's for there's some discoloring on the uh, seat belts back here got some stains on the floor there nothing that wouldn't come out with a, a good shampoo They want uh, $1,900 for this car, by the way. It's a bit much in my opinion. Slide over here. Door panels are good, by the way, on, on both sides here. But uh, ashtray on that side, too, with a lighter. Yeah. yeah. Also, on the driver's side seat, the uh, panel back here that would cover up the seat belt is uh, broken off missing but uh, this is what it would look like this is on the passenger side okay let's go ahead and start it up No warning lights at all. The air does work. I tried it out before I came out here, but just for the sake of the video. Yep. And it is cold. Very cold, actually. Oh, it gets more powerful over the course of a few seconds. It feels very, very nice. Turn that off. Oh, it's got heated seats. Huh. Cool. The radio does work. Guys, for calling three fellow Republicans terror. Now, I want to add real quick, guys. The gas gauge is actually broken in this particular one. So that is not functional. Let's check the windows. That one works, but it is very slow. That one works. That one works and is very quick. And that one works as well. Okay. While it's running, I'm going to get you a shot of the motor. 3,800, baby. 3,800. Great, great motors. It's actually pretty quiet. Okay. Got you a shot of that. We're going to go on a little bit of a test drive here. Let's go ahead and close this back up. Now, this car is older, and it does have quite a bit of miles, but... It drives very, very nice. The suspension is great. It's like floating on air. I love it. Look at that uh, river, guys. Mississippi River. And the car is very comfortable, too. Um, I could see myself, well, if the car would make it, uh, taking a very, very long trip in this car. It's very comfortable. There is a ton of room. Get you a shot of the dash here while while we're going. Ton of room. Plus, with the heated seats, that adds to the comfort as well. Let's give it a little bit of a pop here. We'll slow down. got a decent amount of power very very nice driving car and I do love older Buicks I love them I love older cars in general but uh, I have a soft spot for older Buicks for sure turns nice shifts good This would be a decent car for like a uh, 
a high school student or maybe a college student and you just need cheap wheel headed back to the dealership now guys and I am going to go ahead and end the video thank you so much for watching please like the video comment subscribe check out my other videos and you guys have a good day